the long way down. Did we meet you in South Africa? I came Cape to Town. Cape Town, yes. Oh, yeah? You're good? I have a picture with you on my wall. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What were we doing on your wall? No, I mean... Are oh, the pictures on your wall? Okay. <laughs> that would have been funny. Uh, Tony, you're rolling. <laughs> Mark, you're framed. Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, Isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, I remember on the 26th of December 2004 and watching those unbelievable images. I mean, do you remember where you were when the tsunami hit? Yes, I was in Los Angeles, yeah. And in fact, um, I was part of the telethon that George Clooney um, created um, about, yeah. about the whole experience, and so I was following it. Oh, there's so many people that, that, that passed away that died during that. I mean, this story is, is one of hope. Yeah, and of course there are so many different mm -hmm. stories relating to this um, horrific event. I, I felt the, this, in, this story inside, this intimate family that had to survive and why they had to survive and, and who for and, um, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful, a lucky, tiny piece of this story. I have just was so touched and moved by the script. I found that it was something very brutal about it and honest. And I didn't know that when I was reading it that it was a true story, that it was based on one family's experience. But I found out that the, you know, the, the writer spent weeks with the real family and a lot of the lines of dialogue are lines that they really remember saying or hearing. And there was something that, that connected with me about that, I think, about the real true situation. How do you, as a mother, I mean, not go... I mean, I imagine it, it informs your acting. You can tap into that. But then how does it not become overwhelming to really consider that scenario happening to your family? Yeah, I mean... It, I cannot imagine, <laughs> but of course having a family helps you imagine um, what it would be like. You know, just a, a, as a mum, I have the normal day-to-day -day worries that anyone does for their safety. Um, and in terms of the filming experience, I ha you know, once you open the door and you're home, that's, that's your focus, isn't it? Um, before I was a mum, I would have taken everything in that door with me. But now, you know, you have to compartmentalise. We created a family that felt real, and, and um, so it was, it was very easy to play the scenes, although it was quite difficult emotionally and harrowing sometimes. And, and you're dealing with very young children. You have to be very careful that they, they did. They, they were very clear about what was real and what wasn't real. But still, even in the fake world of, that we were creating of the tsunami, there's me before the director says action. I'm the last one with the boys going, OK, you know, we're scared and we've got to be sad. And that's, you know, after four months of me telling, you know, they're looking at me like, oh, dude, this guy's such a downer. Oh, <laughs> did you try and make, did you have any time to make it light yeah, for them? Yeah, <laughs> we chuckle. Playing uh, an ordinary person versus someone who's well-known, Princess Diane, I mean, is that, do you feel a bit more pressure to play either of the two? I mean, is there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's true, yeah, playing Princess Diana, the, the, the pressure is tenfold, yeah. You know, this is a case where everyone feels they know her and nobody knew Maria. Um, now they might, you know, understand her story better, but they they don't, you know, they're not looking at her going, oh, she doesn't look right, you know, it doesn't, that didn't matter, that part. Um, but everyone is, is going to be quick to point out things like that with, with Princess Diana. Any plans to head back to South Africa on your motorbike? <laughs> Charlie's down there a lot recently. He's been there twice this year, I think. No, I haven't got any plans at the moment. I've, I, I, I've sort of thrown myself back into making movies. Um, but I had a great time down there. I loved it very much, South Africa. All of Africa, really. You can come make a movie there. Yeah, I will. That would be nice, yeah. <laughs>